Hello everybody, welcome to the final phase of the planes. We've got Moomin Slayer, who's come through the losers bracket. Uh, so first round losers, not an incorrect name for him. Uh, Corleon has won both of his games with Blackhawks. He's got a wild six guard team, um, a block troll, a sneaky git goblin. And then Moomin Slayer has got a bunch of block and wrestle with a sidestep gutter, a tackle blitzer and a juggernaut roger. And in the booth with me is Fymir and Poglar. Hello. Hello. It's, it's not Poglar, by the way. I said Pugla. Yeah. Oh my god, sorry, Hargrim. I just literally read Pugla. I read Pug We're not going to do the intro again, okay? There's only so many times I can do this. I've got a good 30 seconds into it this time. They're going to start the game soon. A for effort. A for effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here we have uh, Moomin Slayer with the Skaven and Colian with a. Uh, was uh, a little uh, snapperino nine thousand when he when he won CCL, but everybody says that I was snapperino <laughs> nine thousand, so I'll go with that. And uh, black org uh, team with tons of guard that, uh, and I think he's just you know the kind of team that prays for not one in nine too much, and three dice all the way. Um, and the country is Portugal until the uh, random uh, costs of skills and countries. <laughs> Diminish is going to be Portugal. Glorious. So, uh, Moomin Slayer only going for the one snotling here, so obviously he guarantees the second one on. Doesn't want to put two and then, you know, maybe he's be down. And it's kind of okay, right? He's got more more uh, armor and stuff, but the thing is, obviously, snotlings are really good. Oh no, he had two on. Okay, I lied. I totally lied. He's been, there's a blitz. Ooh. A blot. A blot. Is he gonna. Is he gonna. Troll blitz this goblin. I mean, the troll is the only block piece, so it's it's only it's the only realistic chance of getting down a goblin or a snotling. Yeah. Unless you're gambling on the forty percent. Yeah. Well, uh, I think he's going for the three D. But first, he's going to jam in a bit. Yeah, yeah, you've got to jam in, right? There's no re rolls. Not that you would re roll the troll anyway. No. And he wants. <laughs> Dice. Good. Of course he wants. But at least it's not a turnover one, is it? And, uh, yeah. This this coming in here is a bit rowdy because he's unsupported at the moment. So yeah, he has to do that as well. Because now with all the guard, they really are strength most things. Like six guard is mental, isn't it? It's a, it's a really cool idea. Like, six guard, it was funny, he was playing like lizard men, and it was just like, the six guard were just insane, right? And, you know, with the grab and fouls, right? The guard helps with the fouls with grab, and then the grab, and then it makes Brawler do something, because, you know, they'll they'll want to re-roll the both downs without block. Oh, it was a touchback, was it? Oh. I think that was a touchback, yeah. Because it says the ball is back uh, on the pitch. Uh, it looks like a uh, Naka. It does indeed look like a Daka. And Moomin Slayer chose to receive and Daka. Actually, it's not a terrible plan when you're facing against Blackhawks that just got blots. You can't really take blocks on the line anyways. So you're looking for blitzes, but the setup doesn't really allow any good blitzes anywhere. So you might as well just Daka. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Don't watch the fun jump stuff. This is insanely early. This is like uh, three a.m. Basically, this is the equivalent of me, of me streaming a game at three a.m. <laughs> Waking up in the middle of the night, <laughs> bleary I had to do this. It wasn't that bad jump toast It was just all on being hilarious. But um. Yeah, honestly, I really quite like. And then you've got the block for the troll to make you the, like. Cause obviously, the black orcs blitzing aren't as good because they haven't got brawler when they blitz or grab really when they blitz. Either they've got half grab when they blitz. Yeah, so. they still negate the sidestep, but they can't choose which square to push you in out of like all the options. It's still, just the normal push squares. Yeah. So, oh, and then we go roll the one. Didn't run back the other rat first. Interesting. Because he had this one free, didn't he? He had this Rossler was just free. 
I think this is what we call the half dagger. It is a little bit, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the uh, the, uh, the ball people pressure. Would call it a, a failure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe dodge out the snotling first, right? Maybe dodge out the snotling because he's got grabs, so he's getting to he's getting to like nine dice, you twelve dice, you here. <laughs> Oh, he only needs three. Yeah, I think one in 36 snotling dodge first would have been best. But never mind. Hello, Rob Diesel. Um, I am also surprised to see me online. <laughs> uh, I was really surprised when I was doing a little work and suddenly I see Jimmy coming online. He's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> This is the thing, like, like that was a 1 in 36 dodge, and, like, you just get cars and, like, okay, it's just a snotling, but, you know, it's a player, isn't it? It's a player, and you need players to win the game, and I think people need to look after them a bit more. Sometimes. Another Instant injured. all two cars in one turn. Yep. Well... That is not Lin, so they were doomed to uh, die, and it's going to be a lot of 3Ds this game. Yeah. Or the Black Orcs. Especially when he keeps... Oh my, <laughs> oh my god, Jesus! <laughs> oh my animation. god, that was a cool animation. <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> well, don't... It's over! <laughs> it's not over, right? Because Black Oaks are really, really, really slow. So if any, if any team can lose after reducing the opposing team to nine players on turn one, it is still Black Oaks. <laughs> They're still shit. They're so slow. They're like, they're so slow. But six guard is amazing, isn't it? So he's, he's got to be really yes. careful because he can, he can still, like, lose this. Yeah, turn one of defense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not turn one of offense, three cards. Turn one of defense, three cards. <laughs> it's a bit of a dicing, isn't it? Is this a dicing? Full instant dicing. I mean, a bit. He got the blitz that gave him any hits at all, right? If he hadn't got the blitz, then the, everything would have moved back, and the snotling would have dodged, and he would have had like no hits. The blitz. The blitz probably isn't the worst thing in the world because it's black orcs and they can't really utilize anyways, and you just want a daka, so you're just rolling a bunch of two pluses and three pluses with dodge skill mostly. Anyways, it's just a matter of turn ordering. Uh, from Moomin Slayer, that that appears to me to be the issue with that turn is that he chose the three plus dodge instead of the two plus dodge with dodge skill first. Yeah. What a skill does the uh, Roger? Was the Tycoon? Juggernaut. They changed. Ah, okay. They changed it to make it not look exactly the same as Stand Firm, <laughs> and then changed Stand Firm, so <laughs> it kind of doesn't yeah, make much sense. Yeah, you outside the step. Yeah, yeah. For the one, uh, for the one Darners. Yep. So it's and the blitz is with the Roger, so you can uh, both down is not that complete disaster. Yeah. It's de I mean it's definitely a bit of a dicing, right? Like he shouldn't. If there wasn't a blitz, he two pluses his snotling away, and everything's out of range. And instead, yeah. like yeah, okay, he could have played his first turn differently, but however he played it, it was going to be ugly. <laughs> like he had, he had a. Like two wrestle clan rats tagged, so that was three plus without dodges or bringing in assist to blitz and stuff with them. So it was it was it was tricky. It was it was a lot. It, the blitz really did screw. But yeah, obviously he could have he could have played differently. Like particularly the snotling dodge that seemed obvious to do the snotling dodge first to me. Oh, and now he's dodging away from a goblin. Rough. Takes the reroll. Hmm. I mean, he has a uh, four uh, reroll, so and uh, he doesn't have that many players anyway, ooh, so you yeah. know, he can risk one of the wrestle pieces getting down and then getting instantly fouled. Mm. Tuk Tuk, I've heard that anything other than Blood Bowl is usually a good start to the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally anything else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. there are people going to work in the salt mines and they're thinking, well, at least I'm not playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 
everyone talks about Francis Naganu and his uh, his unbelievable, you know, <laughs> upbringing and how harsh his start was. He should have tried playing blood ball if you wanted a real <laughs> beating the odds story. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, watching Blood Bowl is okay. Oh, do you um do you blitz this goblin to chain the black orc to hit the gutter? Yes. Yeah. That is absolutely the play. Yeah. Because you can tricky. then bring it in for a gang foul if you want to like do the four plus dodge with the sneaky git. Yeah, they don't just cancel anymore, do they? It completely overrides grab. It's yes. pretty amazing. There is. Maybe, you know, a black orc a hit on the roger and a possible blitz on the ball. I'll be right. Oh, yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, 3D this goblin out of the way and then, uh... Oh, no, 2D him. So, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's, bit, it's a bit dodgy to hit the, uh... Roger, but he could 1D the Roger. But then even if he powers in, there's no way, is there, because of where that guy is, so... He's just probably going to blitz the rogue with the, with the Black Orc. It's funny, I've been playing so much Orcs, and every time I want to say Black Orc, I've been trying to correct myself to Big and now these actually are Black Orcs, and I kept ca yes, I kept yeah, calling them Big Uns in the Anarian game, and now I'm calling them Big Uns again. <laughs> clearly they are Black Orcs, I mean, uh, all of them, uh, this is what the hell I was talking here. <laughs> I think, well, I mean, it's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's the main reason, Christopher B, but it's, it's a reason, isn't it? Like, it's pretty cool getting... Uh, Getting those giant fouls, do, it does help. And okay, thanks, thanks for the clarification, Tuk Tuk. <laughs> Should have said watching Blood Bowl, not insane. There we go. <laughs> yes, we went for the hit on the Roger, which is fair enough. Like the right, the, the Roger strength five. Plus this way, he gets the uh, he gets the guard behind it, so that it's a frenzy trap for itself. So, but it is tempting to just nail the. Uh, Nail the gutter every chance you get, isn't it? Yeah. Very tempting. So I think I would have gone for the chain into gutter hit, but this might be like, you know, a better, better blood ball in turn. Tackle hit on the gobble, very nice. <laughs> Doing the dub skulls. <laughs> Is this a dice? Well. <laughs> a stun. Thick skull! Thick skull! Makes it a stun, doesn't it? Glorious. Yes. Because he's, cause he's stunned. There me. you go. Black Orc vindicated. There we go. There we go. Glorious thick skull. It says thick skull every time whether you use thick skull or not because, you know, cyanide. But that actually was a use of thick skull. Amazing. <laughs> A sad lack of augers. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the roger can't even hit, can it? It's just got to stand there like a dickhead. Sad day to be there is, but, uh... I guess what he could have done is he could have put the a goblin in there, but then it's still it's still a thing. Maybe this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could have geified with that with that clan rat. <laughs> I'll put the clan rat here to cancel this, and then that goblin could have run all the way around into there. And then he could have blocked him and then chained the other one back and stuff, so he was there was no guard on him. Don't worry about it. He's just going to roll the full power on the first dice anyways. Yeah, no, he, he can't hit, right? Well, I guess he can now. Now that he's got this goblin, he can't hit because the screen, the yeah. screen is still there. So he might just... He might just. problem is, if you do hit, you're instantly getting 2D back, right? Whereas now, if you don't do the hit, that, that Black Orc can't hit you unless he brings in another Black Orc and a goblin to hit, so... Yeah, that's, that's probably okay to leave. I think he's probably doing a good job. 
there. Oh, three dice on the gutter. He's got to do it it's this time. All three dice on the gutter. Yeah, he's got to do it this time. Yeah. And so with a follow, you raise the ball. Mm. As we all know, that means GG gets the pow. A pow. Is a pow. Brutal pow. Oh. Not even no, an arm Diced. But that's a two assist foul from a, <laughs> from a goblin if he can get one there. <laughs> I guess this one dodging uh dodging through and geifying is better than this one dodging away from tackle, but then I guess you know, getting away from tackle's quite good. The troll completely isolated. I guess I have to do the four plus yeah. or move the goblin there. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? An interesting quandary whether the Sacrifice a helper just to get him, like just back, right? It's not. It doesn't get relevant. I guess he could stand next to this black oak. He does go there to help him. That goblin should be one square up. Uh the yeah. The problem is that's where he wanted to go, right? So he wanted to either directly behind or there. And then it's interesting. Super interesting. What he could do is, oh, he's not doing the foul. What the fuck? <laughs> right, I think he is, but he's going to do it with a three plus dodge. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, dodge away from the tackle. Yeah, 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 yeah. This just makes sure that no matter what, he's only going to be able to get one nope. deal on that. Okay. No, no, I like I like dodging away from the tackle. I like that three plus, even if it is away from tackle. I really do like that three plus. Yeah. Yeah, you're fouling a gutter with two assists. I mean, come on. <laughs> with the goblin, and they're only down to nine men, so. And you have bench. Yeah. Well, at least now the roger can hit. He can, yeah. He could blitz and he could. Uh, Will the roger kill the middle? goblin? Uh, oh, no. Oh, I don't like that move. What does achieve? That doesn't achieve anything. Oh, 1D. 1D with the ball carrier. That's not... No, no. Why would you 1D yeah, with the carrier? Because it's all yeah, you can exactly. do. <laughs> oh, this ah, this is all it is. Oh, it was chain. Yeah. A two dice. Can't complain about a two dice, can you? And if he if he no. had, like, powered, he would have, it would have gotten a 2D here, wouldn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Which doesn't achieve anything because he needs <laughs> pow, and then now now he's just stuck on the sideline, and it allows the Blackhawks to consolidate. Yeah, but I mean he's in, he's in a tough spot, wasn't he? He's in a tough spot. I think you yeah. just run back, yeah, run back, run the gutter back. Hope that your shitty roll good. Yes, you this is a Hargrim uh, Tolkien. Mm. Look at the little teacup in between Jim and Fymir. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oi. A flying <laughs> teacup now. The with the... <laughs> <laughs> Diced. Diced scene. <laughs> Diced. <laughs> A flying saucer. Very good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and obviously it doesn't activate the roger in case it goes stupid because that would have been terrible. But on on the other hand, powing would have been good. So you know, I think we're at the point now where trying to get lucky is kind of overriding trying to play safe, right? Yes. Also, if the roger you know managed to hit there, it opens a path. Hmm. Yeah, I wanted a blitz with a roger actually. I quite like the roger blitz because then obviously it makes the block safe and uh, yeah, let's do something happen maybe. That's a three die with mighty blow on the gutter runner. Nice. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I thought he was coming back with the gutter. Why did the gutter go up there? <laughs> a 
baby break just to stun. Why didn't he come back? I thought the gunner was coming back. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't I even look. To because leave it. I guess he wanted to leave it as like a fisher for next turn just in case he has to score so he can go for the pass play. Yeah. But I don't know why you wouldn't just move it further forward so that he's outside of blitz range. Yeah, get away from the troll. Flip me. Um, yeah. No, no see, bros. He, he, used, use, he, he used the gutter as an assist for a block. Uh, do you know what he did, see, bros? He caused three Kaz on turn one. <laughs> Corleon got a blitz, based loads of guys, and then uh, and then got three Kaz on turn one. So, you know, Moomin Slayer has been under the cosh. Right from the get-go. And with that move, we're not going for the ball sack. No, we've already we've already blitzed anyway. Never mind. Just literally just kicked well, and stunned the gutter. Skull. I think you can well, actually afford to, to eat, eat that. Them. I, I think you could eat that. You can eat it. Because all it allows is a potato to the other side. Because there is nothing to capitalize on. Exactly. So, ball. yeah, it was, uh, you know... Yeah, the thing is though, potatoes just so good against against black orcs because they've got no responsiveness at all, like none. Yeah. Right? They've got none. If he if he eats that dub skull and the block blitzes a goblin and the ball runs over here, they just can't do anything because they're too slow. Like they're unbelievably slow. So I don't hate going for the uh, free roll there. Problem is the underworld are kind of getting banged on. Most of his team is on the floor. Yep. And the pass play isn't an option because the gutter runners. Yeah, stunned. I mean, if, if even if he potatoes to the right, it's like only the wall carrier. Yep. And you have the goblins and the and some black orcs will be free. Is he going to foul that the tackler there? That seems all right, doesn't it, with a guard assist? I Cheeky guard because assist. Because the tackler is uh, one of the most. There you go. And gets the stun, and uh, yeah. Good luck, Moomin Slayer. <laughs> Enjoy your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your turn five. <laughs> oh, I honestly think an uphill blitz on the sideline moving forward is your best play. No, I think I think uh, million dodgers with a skink. Rogue a blitz. If you palm on the second hit, then you're free, and then you've got a screen, <laughs> the ball here with a screen, <laughs> and then three plus this guy off, and three plus this guy through. <laughs> I don't know. It's terrible though. <laughs> Tato. <laughs> yeah, I think it. It's either that or it's the move forward. But the move forward also like both. Both lines are just shit. Oh, this is hor like this is horrendous. Because you'd have to follow as well, and then double GFI and go on the sideline, and then like have a snotling around, and then like uphill this as well, and like uh, it's absolutely it's, terrible. I mean, yeah. uh, you are surrounded by orcs. Yeah, who have grab <laughs> as well. Who have it's grab, so it's... yeah, he's going for the other side. Yeah, he has to. Yeah, I think he has to. Chugs. <laughs> Summoned by Tato, amazing. <laughs> there you go, Chugs. Long time no see. Ooh. Gets rid of an assist. Yeah, I guess if he's just standing this guy, that's all he needs to get rid of, right? Yeah. Oh, he's going for the goblin. Oh. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad. He didn't push get him. Get the pal. Oh, you can't push him. Oh. Kaz? Injured. Cheeky Kaz. Not the Apo. There we go. Good Colleen. I would have pushed hey, him down, on, wouldn't you? Oh, you want to use the Apo now? You're on a goblin. <laughs> if you'd pushed him down, then he would have followed to here, right? And then if he was yeah. here, he could have 1D blitzed. Yeah. Very good analysis from Chugs there, yeah. And he hit with my blow, which, as we all know, is the uh, only measure yeah, right, of uh, uh, cock skill. To hit with mighty blow every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof. 
could have cast the. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't look at the dice. Who knows how to read this dice log? Yeah, yeah I would have cast 11, the bomb. Yeah, yeah. should have cast the black orc. Foolish. Dice. Comedy Mega. That could have been a black orc. Dead. Oh, wow, he does the 5 plus 3 plus. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, and like, look how look how completely in control the Black Oaks were, and now suddenly they can't do anything because they movement fall. Like, it really is unbelievable how slow they are. Like, they're so slow. They're so outrageously slow. Mind-boggling how slow they are. Gotta hate Black Oaks. Not because they're annoying or anything, just because they're shit. <laughs> Oh, Don, it's because they're different players, according mm -hmm. to Games Workshop. Because yeah. orcs yep. needed the orcs needed the boost. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, the boost. No, they have animosity. I mean, uh, come on. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, my bad. Big nerf. Big nerf. It's literally unplayable now. <laughs> Games Workshop know what they're doing, guys. They know what yeah, they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they definitely didn't just give them animosity because they've got animosity in Warhammer. <laughs> They're definitely not releasing Kemri and or a Bretonian team coming uh, soon because of the old world. Oh. I hope I hope so. It's going to be Kemri, isn't it? I, th I mean, I think Bretonians versus Kemri is a, a good shout for the box set because you want humans in there, don't you? Because yeah. people know what humans are. And then, you know, so then... Humans and Kemri make sense a lot more sense than humans and high elves or humans and chaffs. Like even if you even if you completely disregard the old world bollocks, yeah. um, it just makes sense more sense than the others anyway. Move five tomb guardians for animosity. Yeah, yeah. I think every single yeah, player would take plus move for animosity, yeah, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah. <laughs> move ten gutters, but they've got animosity. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's, you know, animosity is a big impact in the game. Oh, oh brawler, hello. brawler, brawler, brawler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dice. Dice. That's it. GG. Drop the GG. Go home. <laughs> Fucking brawler. <laughs> Well, that gives him, uh, you know, the snotlings are basically always free, right? So, one, two, three, four, five. So the snotling can get here or something. And he can blitz with a ball and he can, he's got a free goblin. So he's immediately made his one of his free players not free anymore. <laughs> but, yeah, this is this is pretty good. This is a pretty good tato, isn't it, now? Kaz? Oh, hello. Cheeky Kaz. Mmm. Oh, ho, ho. And yeah, and half the team can't reach him at all. He bros here with uh, animosity against the uh, Colian uh, bro. This <laughs> is oh, <dear>. <laughs> another game for furious for art to get furious about. Oh yeah. yeah. But I mean, Artwood, as we said, Art would get furious about <laughs> about like Magnus Carlsen versus <laughs> what's he called? <laughs> Kaspara Nakamura. The... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plays the most aggressive line of the Catalan, and then it's just, what are they doing? <laughs> Absolute moron. <laughs> Oh, can be these people, Grandmaster? They're, they're embarrassing the game. <laughs> <laughs> Give them a book about how to play chess. Oh my god, that was the best, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my god, that was the best. That's some gun, in case you don't know, but it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's trolling at the maximum level. That's, uh, you know, they, they literally killed the other guy. <laughs> Oh, dear. Really, game. 
Oh wow, okay, so we're going for a foul. I quite like this actually, two assist foul, you know, you're losing. This like might get you back in the game. Like I'm, I mean, also, I would have rather also, you don't break the ball. You bit, double but. you don't break armor or get doubles not breaking armor, nothing. I know it's that's not the sneaky git. No, no, the sneaky git is the goblin. Um Oh yeah, yeah, yeah okay. It's just, they look alright. They're basically the same players. But it's it's yeah. a snotling anyway, so Yeah, yeah, no one really cares about a snotling. Especially when you've got four bench. Yeah, well, only one now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. 4 2 2 D. Yeah, I would have rather brought stuff up next to this, but um, you might have to go for the 4 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 D. Because. Jim.exe has stopped working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should have stayed one square back. Definitely should have stayed one square back. The problem is, this puts him. That means he's got a GFI, right? Whereas this puts him into range. So, you know, interesting. Interesting. There's only two turns left, right? And this puts him 14 away, so. It's understandable yeah. why he'd want to get to this line. Don't worry, Ori, as long as you're playing Underworld, everything is fine. <laughs> the worst dice in the history of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> to the Blood Bowl 3 forums. <laughs> Time to go on a 15 minute rampage rant about how the dice log is, uh, or how the dice generator is uh, rigged it's against rigged. you. Yes. <laughs> Let's just see, bro. It doesn't get any worse than that, does it? Let's just see, bro. Oh my god! Jesus. No, it can get it can get worse. Seabro has never beaten me in tabletop. <laughs> we've played three games. We've drawn once, and I've won twice. Wow! There you go, dropping the bragging rights here. <laughs> it's not. It's only bragging rights because I'm Agent Zero Zero Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's blitzing with a troll, hitting the hitting the gutter on three dice with block mighty. And uh... is he? <laughs> oh, he's he's no. he's vomiting on him. <laughs> Smart to vomit. Well, I don't know. I think it's better odds to hit him with block. Three dice. Yeah, three dice with block is, seems pretty good to me. Like then you might knock him over. Whereas this, you likely do nothing. But then if you do do something, at least he's stood. It's interesting, right? Like because if, if you knock him over, you might do nothing. So. Yeah, but you're gambling. You're gambling on knocking him over. You're. I mean, in both cases, you're technically gambling. But the puke is slightly better because it means the sidestep isn't going to affect uh, the, the push direction. Mm, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't but you need to roll an eight plus. Yeah. So I don't know what are the odds of getting a block or a power on three dice. That's 40, uh, 42% for the for the AV break. I, I wouldn't say one's better than the other. I wouldn't say one's better than the other. It's not 42%, is it? It's not 42% at all. Can look it up real it's quick. like 36 or something. 35? 35. 35%, right? 41.7. 40, 35%, right? I'm literally looking at a dice calc at a blood And did you put two plus in it, Hargrim? <laughs> two plus, two, six. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, fucking amateurs coming here, you know. <laughs> yeah, you've got a two I plus think, to vomit. I think the block uh, was better. It's in, like they've, they've got pros and cons, right? Like there, there's some value in knocking him over, even if you don't break AV. Whereas obviously, if you puke, you might just not, you might just do nothing. So it, it's 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 interesting, isn't it? You're more likely to put yourself on the ground with a puke. A lot more likely to put yourself on the, like infinitely more, not infinitely more, but <laughs> like three times did it, did it more likely. Block? It's so it's yeah, it's it's really dodgy. It's really it's a really dodgy thing to say, which is you, I don't think you can say which is better because there are pros and cons to both. Absolutely. I think it's a matter of strategic approach. 
I mean, yeah, well, I don't think it's, I just think it's random. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's random. I think people will do what they think's best and, and nobody will ever know. <laughs> you know? Pretty much. As with most things in Blood Bowl, people do. Ooh, we moved him before the troll. That's interesting. So maybe he's just leaving the troll there. This is the perfect eight turn stall, by the way. It is, yeah, yeah. This is a, it's, just, it's just Black Orcs being shit, right? Just being too slow to react. Exactly. Yep. Exactly why I picked Moomin Slayer to win. Um, I think I picked Moomin Slayer, and Aurelensis and Chunter both picked Colian, uh, and and this is why I picked against Black Orcs because they're so slow. Like they're so unbelievably slow. That just okay. even with no Did players. I... It was it was a seventy percent to knock the the gutter down. Seventy percent. Hmm. Well, there's the bench gone. Yeah, flip me. But to be fair, uh, Colian's bench is gone as well, right? So like, Colian's yeah, actually down to ten, capped at ten, and uh, Moomin Slayer's capped at eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy to make four cards. I mean, three cards on turn one was ludicrous, wasn't it? Yeah. Also, he moved to help the troll and then blitzed with the troll. And this time, he three-diced him. <laughs> and didn't pal. <laughs> uh, yeah, just 70%. Just to, you know, just to fail with every single skill. You know, vomit fail, block, uh, <laughs> blitz fails. <laughs> what? With underworld gutter runners just being absolutely freaking immortal. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, isn't a, it's it? a general thing of gutter runners. Unless they're in your, in your team, then die first block. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what it is. It's the same with skinks, right? Like, they seem immortal just because you hit them every chance you get, so you notice know more when they don't die, basically. But yeah, perfect turn it stall. There will be the throw teammate chance for Coley and though. Yep. So that's exciting. That's why he kept the reroll. Yeah. He is down to three goblins, though. So retrieving the ball might be difficult, depending on the kick. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's pretty I mean, good. I mean, it's black orcs. They only have goblins and black orcs. So it's gonna, it, it was <laughs> going to be difficult anyway. But he's got less. He's <laughs> got less. He's got less goblins, hasn't he? You know, he's... Oh, uh, yeah. He could have had five, right? He could have... He could have taken off a black orc and had five goblins for a bit more a bit more maneuverability i mean if if no, no, nobody had died but you know possible i wouldn't change a black orc for two goblins no 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 oh. just just for the for the one turn he could he could sub ah, off yeah. the, like if he had the if he still had the players he could have subbed it off oh reconnection they're four question mark Ooh. is he looking up on the internet how to do a throw teammate <laughs> <laughs> I've got a video. It took me like about fucking ten minutes to do it with with Moridam and Lupak helping me. Like <laughs> three people who had about ten thousand hours in Blood Bowl, probably more than ten thousand hours in Blood Bowl combined. Moridam, a, a goblin specialist, and it took us like you know ten minutes to work out how to throw a teammate. <laughs> so you know, I don't know. The last game of Blood Bowl 3 I played, someone tried to throw teammate, tried for like a solid five minutes, then gave up and just conceded instead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can imagine after the concede it was an uninstall. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, Moomin Slayer started getting diced, Aurelensis. Um... It was a very start. It was a very rough start. Yeah, he got blitzed on and then took three cards on turn one. So, um, so yeah. That underworld went... being underworld got out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so who disconnected? Do we know? I mean, that's pretty much diced one turn. I mean, that was the uh, yeah. Don't know who's. I mean, it's a pause, right? It's a pause. Oh no, waiting for reconnection. Oh shit. Maybe Moomin Slayer's plan was score, then disconnect and get the win. No, then hope for the win. That doesn't work. That doesn't work because I'm pretty sure they just said if somebody disconnects, they just lose, right? If 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 they disconnect before the first turn, they can they can re they can re 
do, but if if they if they disconnect after the after the game started, the result stands. I mean, three Kaz on turn one is is like that is a pretty much a dicing on your offense on your offense. Yes. <laughs> on your offense. I mean, I'm not saying he's still diced. I'm not saying this is a co an, an, a comedy mega dicing or anything where he's still getting diced. But I mean, the first turn was brutal. It was an absolute. I mean, brutal. They, they were uh, they were snodlings, most of them, you know. So. Yeah, but they should never have got hit, right? That's and to be fair, it was his yeah, fault that one of them the got blitz, hit. The blitz made yeah. that uh, possible, so yeah. yeah. It was his fault that one got hit, and then and then the blitz is what put him under the cosh for the, for the whole half. Like otherwise, you'd have just run back. And then you would have had like three turns of not ha nothing happening. <laughs> Shut up, Oriel insist. <laughs> <laughs> if you start every game down three players on offense, you won't win many fucking games. I tell you that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Mister BM Hands. Yeah, if it was any other team in the competition, he wouldn't have been able to come. Literally any other team, but Blackhawks on movement four. They're the one. I said it. I said it. Literally, if there's one team that can let this slip, it's Blackhawks because they're just so slow, and so unresponsive. And the responsive players are goblins. Exactly. And they're yeah. not even that fast. Yeah, yeah. Like I honestly I considered dropping the troll to get like more goblins when I like you know, when they came out, I was like, you know, that that I saw how slow they were and I'm like, I just hate how slow they are. But then you realise that even if you do drop a troll for for another goblin, your responsive players are strength two and don't matter and aren't even fast anyway. <laughs> so So you might as well go for the troll as well and just hope. Oh man! Oh, this is tragic, isn't it? Are they saying anything in the in the chat? Nope. Someone's just gonna lose. What a way to lose! Well, time to go back to bed, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, may maybe it's maybe it's Coley, and maybe he's uh, you know maybe he's disconnected and disgust. Like maybe this is a concession, but we just don't know. No, no, I don't. I don't see. Any I don't think Coley he would. No. Coley wouldn't doing that. that. I mean, I don't think he would either. But you know, you know, people are people are curious creatures, aren't they? You know. Yeah. I mean, we don't even know who it is. No, exactly. It's <laughs> connected. No. We'll find out in a second, I guess. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Pogla. <laughs> hey, Paravel. Oh man, oh this is tragic, hey. isn't it? It does, yeah, see, bros, yep, it does. Match finished. Match but finished. Underworld win. Clean DC. Underworld win. Yep, yep, that's it. That is sad. That is sad because, yeah. you know, it's a terrible way he to had, lose. He had the whole second half to score and the one turn in the first half, so yes. Yeah, yeah. And the hits on the and two rounds of hits on the low S. So yeah, it was a yeah back to back uh, to reach, uh, at any level. No, no, almost certainly not. I mean, we don't know that. We don't know, but it it sure doesn't look it sure doesn't look like an intentional disconnect, right? Nah, but, it was a he had a, a very good chance of a, at least you know getting a good hits and all that. So it's yeah. not like you know. Quad skulls into death into Apple fail disconnect and install refund. No, no, of course not. No, no, no like you know, none of us would expect Colian to just quit there. So it probably was uh, almost Colian certainly has, was. Colian is a, a long-standing player, so you know yeah. he's used to this kind of uh, <laughs> adversity. Yeah, almost certainly internet issue. Um, you know, I guess we'll find yeah. out in time. Um, but yeah, almost certain in, in, internet issue. I mean, you you don't yeah. know Orleans, right? You just don't know, right? We don't know. Like he could have been, he could have been pissed off. Something could have happened in real life. You know, you just don't know, do you? What people, what people are. But yeah, on the base of the game, you wouldn't, you wouldn't just disconnect and quit there because that would be stupid. But the you game know. has stayed, and the players involved makes me say that this was just a regular disconnect. Yeah, yeah, it, it sure looks like it. Issues. Plus, Colin's in Russia, isn't he? So God knows what's happening. Um, so yeah, almost certainly in an issue. So there you go, unlucky Corleone, um, two and zero, and then goes out of a very, very, 
very winnable game. Uh, Moomin Slayer did get brutal dices on turn one. Aurel is, is a loon. Um, but so there you go. Congratulations, <laughs> Moomin Slayer. Commiserations, Colian. Jim gets the correct prediction yet again. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>